Hey, welcome back here on the Good Morning Artesia Radio Show. And Raylan Bean is with us. I'm sorry, I Bean, I think of Mr. Bean. You've probably heard that. Right. Once or twice. Yeah. You know Mr. Bean? <laughs> and you can say, yes, you do. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> but not Rowan Atkinson. Right. Um, it's been hot and going to be hot all weekend. Yes. So for a utility that provides electricity to folks to run air conditioners and fans and stuff, uh, you guys are all on call and ready to go. Right? Absolutely. Yeah. So with with the hot weather you know there's there's things that you can do before you go and adjust your thermostat so you can turn on a ceiling fan in your in while you're in the room a ceiling fan does not cool the room a ceiling fan cools you so before you go and turn your thermostat down and run the air conditioner which is more costly than running a fan you can turn that ceiling fan on. Just okay. make sure that you turn it off when you leave the room. Okay. Um, another That's... thing that people can do, I mean, you drink a glass of cold water mm -hmm. to help. I mean, we're, we're just trying to cool our bodies down and and be comfortable. So, I mean, these are, these are no cost. The water is, you know, of course. Very, very, very minimal Very minimal cost, cost yeah. ways to, to kind of keep you cool. And water is the best because some people will drink tea, but that sometimes that has caffeine well, the in caffeine it. And, the caffeine or sodas or anything like that, that's going to dehydrate you. So. Yeah, as I'm drinking my cup of coffee. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. But you have a nice and cool in here today. I, it's working. Um, right? <laughs> knock on wood. And another thing that you can do is, I know sometimes first thing in the morning, the first thing I want to do is go and open all my blinds and mm -hmm. curtains and things like that but if you can can try to leave those shut it kind of helps keep that hot sun from coming in and, and heating the house up yeah which so. then requires the air conditioner to come on more often right. to, to try to cool right. things down and and one thing that that some people may not really even pay attention to is is what's around their thermostat Okay. Are there lamps around it? Is there a TV beside it? Are there heat producing elements beside that thermostat? Because if there are, that thermostat's going to pick that up and that's going to cause your system to run more often sure. as well. So just, yeah. you know, that's one thing. A lot of times they're in the hallway, but some people may not have that luxury. Right. And, and then to use programmable thermostats so you can kind of lower the temperature in your house while you're gone all day at work or whatever. And then I know mine kicks back up around 430 right before we get home. We, we have them here, the smart thermostats. And the other thing that ours have, you see that little white thing on top of the uh -huh. rack there? Right. That's a sensor. It's a motion sensor. And it's also a temperature sensor. And so depending on which unit you get you can buy these little additional sensors and so in addition to your programming they'll also detect whether or not anybody's even in, in the, room. the room and if they're detecting that nobody's in the room um it'll it'll keep the temperature a little bit warmer or colder depending on right. the time of the year to help save energy too right but those get a little more expensive than just a <laughs> sure absolutely just remembering to turn it down or program right, it right right so well and a lot of people i read the other day a lot of people have the programmable thermostats they just don't have them programmed mm -hmm. so i mean if you have one it it can be beneficial to to have that thing programmed so that's true so another another advice or more advice is try not to use heat producing appliances while it is so hot don't don't run your dishwasher don't wash clothes during the hottest part of the day uh your stove mm -hmm. top your oven those things just add heat into the home right and then you're like i said your ac is having to work harder and it's one of the most uh it, it uses the most energy in your home mm -hmm. is, is to heat and cool your house right so if you can grill outside then that's a good thing. That's a good thing. Yeah, because you take the heat outside. You do. And and another thing that I read yesterday, too, was try to limit your um, going in and out of the house. Because every time you open that door, you're letting your cold air out and you're letting the hot air in. Mm -hmm. So I got to use a phrase I picked up in the South yesterday because we were shooting, uh, broadcasting the soft, softball game. Uh -huh. And they have a mini split unit in the press box, which helps. Uh, but I had a cameraman on top, and the and the panel, the door to the roof was open. 
And I finally got to say, you know, can you close the lid? We're letting out all the bought air. That's right. <laughs> That's right. But that goes to what you're what you're talking about is constantly going in and out of the house is uh, just as soon as the air conditioning kind of gets everything stabilized, then you open up that door and you have that big exchange of, uh, of right. the inside air and outside yeah. air. And, you know, another thing, I mean, these are things that, that we should do, whether it's hot or not, we should do this anyway. Mm -hmm. Shut lights off that aren't being used. Right. I don't know how many times I go home at lunch and every light in the house is on. <laughs> and, uh but converting to LED lights, LED lights LEDs do are help. Cooler than uh, they don't produce as much heat. They produce mm -hmm. a lot more light than than the heat. Right. Uh, yeah. Now halogen lights are probably the hottest. They are hot. Incandescents can get hot. Can get hot Absolutely. too. Absolutely. Yeah. But if you can convert to LEDs, you're going to just save on a little bit of energy Absolutely. and heat generation. Yep. yep. So that's good to know. Yep. Um, and these are all things that everybody can do that will help them get through the hot periods but uh, but save them a little bit on their bill too because right. their bill's going to go up anyway with with this kind of uh weather absolutely so yeah we'll follow these things and then you got uh, check on pets and check on um senior citizens and folks like that shut-ins right absolutely yeah because uh because they may not have a fan or they may right. not you know they may be wanting to be so frugal they've turned off you know right something and right. they need to have it turned well and, and one thing too a lot of people do is is they shut vents off mm -hmm. in rooms that don't ever get used and that is not good for your system okay so that system is designed to include that room and when you shut that off it makes the system work harder to push the air to different areas so shutting off those vents doesn't necessarily help okay so, so yeah i hadn't thought about that and something else too people will go in and say it's hot in here and they'll crank the thermostat down right that's not necessarily a good thing well if you have and I, I i have a hard time convincing my husband of this <laughs> if you're hot uh-huh and the fan's just not cooling you off i get it just turn that thermostat down one degree it'll kick on the ac enough to get you cooled off mm -hmm. instead of knocking it down through four degrees and then that thing is just going to work for a long long time to cool the room down through four degrees so i would only move that thing up or down one or two degrees yeah at a time oh, just one because that'll kick it up <laughs> kick sure it on, oh, in most, sure. most cases two at the most right and it's not going to cool cool any faster right exactly if you knock it down five degrees it's not right. going to cool it any faster you're right. exactly it's only right it's going to work as 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 well as it can uh, right as it can work and and a good thing too is to have have your your heating and cooling systems checked by a professional at least once a year just to make sure that every, all of your components are working good and make sure you don't have any have any issues mm -hmm. and then change your filters changing your filters is gonna keep your system operating longer mm -hmm. you know if especially the, the wind just hasn't seemed to die down this year so those air filters are, are dirty and that dirt is going to make its way into those critical parts and cause your ac to fail and when it's 108 degrees outside is not when you want that thing to fail that's right that's so right. which is um, a lot of times when it decides to give up and, absolutely and that. absolutely so so you can go to filterchange.com and you can order air filters okay various sizes various filtration levels and they're very reasonably priced the shipping is free and they, they'll even send you an email reminder to let you know hey it's time for you to change that air filter because i have a hard time remembering to well change we're so mine. busy Everybody's oh absolutely busy. it's time for that so now do you have to be a member of central valley electric cooperative to shop at that filter site? you do not anybody can go to filterchange.com and and order filters okay. and, and it's always nice to have them on hand because sometimes they may not have them at the store the size you need right because everybody else is everybody else thing. is doing the same thing right <laughs> yeah yeah try to try to be ahead of the crowd in in that regard yep. um as far as the uh, utility is concerned um if if you do get a notice from your supplier that there may be a strain on the grid, right? You, so you try to pass that along so as quickly as possible. Typically, I want to say it's mid June 
which we're almost at, in mid-June mm -hmm. to September, um, Western Farmers Electric Cooperative, one of our wholesale power providers, can call what they call a peak day, which is a day that the temperature is probably going to be super hot and they anticipate a lot more demand on the system. And on those days, we just ask you, and we'll put it out on all of our, on Facebook, on our website, any way that we can get it out, that it's a peak day. We just ask that people conserve energy on those days because in turn, our wholesale price is based on some of those peak days. So if we can lower those, lower the demand those days, it mm -hmm. just kind of helps with our costs and then those costs are passed on to our members. So um, I got a peak day notification test email just this week <laughs> to make sure that we're getting those and, and that when they're ready to start calling those peak days that that we we can get that. So, so that darn it, that works. It works. <laughs> it does work. So just be be on the alert that, that some of those may come up right. over the next few days. Yeah. But, uh, and then of course, I'm, I'm sure all of your crews, especially the ones that work outside have to take all kinds of precautions to make sure they stay hydrated oh, and all that stuff. Absolutely. Um, our, our maintenance guy fights with our ice machine in the summertime on a daily basis to make sure that those guys have ice and they can fill up their their coolers with water and ice and keep them hydrated yeah because yeah. they're they've got to be out working they in this do just... and then they have to be in the fr clothing mm -hmm. and those things are not cool to begin with so i i really do feel for those guys out in the field yeah so. especially in this well in the summer and in the winter time right because it's extremes yeah. on, uh, on yeah. both sides now if folks you, you have a nice little printout of some tips there. Are those available for folks if they well, want to get those? I can definitely make them available. Okay. Yeah. So I might put that on our website and and have some up front. Just some easy ways for, for people to to lower their energy during the summer and how that'll kind of keep them cool and mm -hmm. maybe lower their bill a little bit. Yeah. Well, the biggest yeah. one I have I fight with all the time is the cranking down the thermostat yeah. that's that's the biggest one that one i see one to two degrees is all i recommend at a time yeah when you hear it yeah. click and it's coming on stop right just right there <laughs> yes and just let it run and and cool it down that degree or two and then yeah. you'll be in good shape so yep. all right well raylin thank you so much is there thank anything you. else we need to talk about today I, I think we're good all right well thank you thank you stay cool all right you too <laughs> all right and that's going to wrap